Welcome back to another episode of Jason's Bricks and Five, where I discuss Lego content in videos of around five minutes. Well, I have another Lego haul that I ordered from lego.com. Um, I, the last one I had was about the Star Wars set. I, I, you know, you may have seen that I received that. I didn't get all of the gifts with purchase I thought I would get. And um, I have set up the return. I'm going to show you uh, how that worked uh, shortly. Uh, and I'll, I'll talk about my experience there. But I thought I'd show you this order. Uh, this is from the Lego Pick a Brick Online. Uh, there was one particular part I needed for uh, something I'm making for someone as a gift. And so I went ahead and just ordered it, um, a number of things off of the bestseller, uh, just to get over the free shipping and the no special handling fee. So I ordered it, they sent it out. Um, I was surprised because it was only about two days between when I ordered it and when it arrived. Uh, this came and my son uh, went out the front door. He's like, oh, here, I brought you a package. It's like, it doesn't feel like there's much in there, so let's see what's in here. Nothing. Yes, I got an empty envelope from Lego. Um, and a couple things, like this This sat on the porch. I looked at the delivery picture they had sent, and it, it had only sat there about 15 minutes. And I noticed initially, besides the fact that it seemed awful thin for Lego, there was kind of like a a bite taken out of the corner and it does go into the package so I don't know if something happened there or if someone had opened it because this looked like it had been peeled it still has the tear option here but but that hasn't been ripped off I can you know I can do that now but that wasn't done it looked like this had kind of been peeled off so there was no order no invoice no packing list uh, which normally comes and so it was kind of weird because I've never gotten a pick a brick order online uh, I've ordered a few from them, and I've never gotten one sent via UPS. It's always been sent um, regular mail, so USPS, United States Postal Service. And it's in my mailbox, and you know, because it's generally not a, you know, not all of us order 18,000 pieces like Alex. Um, anyway, so uh, typically that's how they've come, and I hadn't had issues. This one was sent via UPS, so I called them, and I said, hey, I have an issue, an order came, and it's empty. And they said, so like you got a box? And I said, well, it's actually pick a brick online. And the guy, he was actually, it, it sounds like this has happened. He's like, wow, that came actually really quick. was the first thing he noticed. But then the second thing he pointed out, he's like, yeah, sometimes that happens where it, you know, something happens in shipping, maybe it gets caught in the sorter or something and the parts fall out. So that looks like that is what happened here. Now I will say Lego customer service was great. They took care of me. Uh, I already have a confirmation that the exact same order is being shipped out. Um, it was funny, the, the customer service representative said, we'll get that sent out in the same manner. And I said, well, hopefully it's a little bit different and that I get it. And they, they paused and laughed and said, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll try to do that. So um, I want to commend Lego because I know last time I gave them a hard time about the one per household on the, the Star Wars thing. But this was more the experience I've had with them on their customer service side. Uh, it's always been very good. They've always been, you know, how can we fix that problem and try to resolve it as soon as they can. And that's, that's exactly what I experienced here. So uh, I want to make sure I give Lego credit because in this case, um, you know, I think they did. You know, the, it probably wasn't even their fault, you know, other than I guess maybe if there's something wrong with the engineering of this envelope and, and choosing to use that. But... You know, it was something that happened w with the courier and, you know, during their transit that it happened, I, I believe. So, um, it's kind of weird. I mean, I, I can't make this stuff up. Uh, <laughs> you know, I, I see a lot of people have orders that, you know, they joke about how Romeoville kicks them around and they, they come trashed. I don't generally have that problem too much. I've had a few where there's a little bit of, of issue, but it's just kind of funny that, like, the orders that I have kind of back-to-back have issues. But... Again, to their credit, Lego took care of me. Um, as far as the return process, um, I'll quickly go into that. Um, it, it was actually a very smooth process. So you just pull up your account in the lego.com website and find your order. And when you go into it, under the summary at the top, you'll see the option to return items. You'll select which items you're returning, select the reason, and then submit the return. And it'll tell you that it can't be undone. One thing to note is I was not able to do this on my phone. I actually had to do it on a laptop computer. So that might be something to be aware of. But once you go through and submit that and say yes, confirm, it takes a moment to process. 
and then it will provide you with a page saying that they're going to send you an email that will have a link to a return label. And then you can just take the package down to UPS and they will go ahead and take care of shipping. All right, so that is going to do it for this video. Um, yeah, has, has anyone ever had their Lego package come empty? I've, I've never received a package at all that was empty. So that was kind of an interesting experience. But um, yeah, hopefully everyone else is having better luck than me. It, it seems from the comments that most people have not had the issues I did on Star Wars Day and, and some of the others. So, uh, and like I said, generally in my experience in the past, Lego has done a great job. So I want to make sure I give them credit here because it is deserved. So that's going to do it for this episode of Jason's Bricks and Five. We'll see you next time and happy building.